Well, folks, you might want to clench your butt cheeks for this one because apparently we got more news coming out right now. We got Drifter leaking the past of Dr. Disrespect. I want to play you that video on this one. Of course, Tim the Tatman responded as well by saying that it's so sad. I cannot believe Dr. would do that. And he says, I love my fans, love you guys and all that. And then he kind of like peaced out, right? So we saw Tim the Tatman response. Uh, a lot of people were like, yeah, okay, whatever. A lot of people were not satisfied with it. And right now, uh, people are beefing. Let's... Let me just be clear, okay? This is like the same as if, you know, NASA was to come out and leak the backside of the moon, which is never happening, okay? We're never gonna find out the truth, okay? But a lot of people are either defending Dr. Disrespect or they're saying that he is guilty, he's a pedophile and all that, right? There are some of you that are kind of like in the middle with the story. Some of you are like, we, we need to see the chat logs. I want to know where you guys at. Like the video if you just want to know the truth. And in this video, we got Drifter actually going bozo. Check this. Dr. Disrespect has a minor problem. Doc was banned from Twitch for sending inappropriate messages to minors via the Whisper feature. This event in and of itself was very bad, but I believe it's the tip of an iceberg large enough to sink Twitch like the Titanic. So uh -oh. today we're going to cover the details of Dr. Disrespect's fall from grace. But first, I wanted to open up this video with a personal story I've never shared before on YouTube about Doc that I've been sitting on for almost a decade. It's the story that when I saw this roll out on the news, I immediately said, yeah, that, that probably happened. That absolutely tracks based on past behavior. Now keep in mind, what I'm about to say is extremely minor, no pun intended, and not particularly relevant to the immediate situation going on right now, but it does have a lot to do with Doc being loose with DMs. As a little bit of a history lesson, my channel Man. blew up back in 2012, 2013 for the in-depth series, Leaking Call of Duty ghost in 2012 and then yeah from call of duty from covering call of duty in depth to covering doctor in depth <laughs> You cannot make it any more crazier than this man. Leaking Advanced Warfare in 2013. My okay. source for the Advanced Warfare leak was indirectly no. Dr. Disrespect. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, hey, wow, yo, time out, papi. Time out, papi. Tranquilo, papi. Tranquilo. No. Yo, what are the odds? So, yeah, we do know that Dr. Disrespect was... At Advanced Warfare, he was behind uh, Advanced Warfare at Sledgehammer My Balls, or my bad, Sledgehammer Games, right? Bruh. Damn, that's a crazy plot twist, though. One in the comments if you think Dr. Disrespect is guilty. Two, if you think he's innocent. Three, if you think we need more information. I want to know, like, where you guys at? time he'd retired from influencing and was working as a game developer or at least an on and off consultant with Sledgehammer Games. I believe he was their community manager and then level designer if I remember correctly. But yeah. during that time yeah, yeah. in 2013, one day a random message just popped up in my inbox out of nowhere from a guy I'd never talked to before with a lot of pictures and information of what would eventually be Please. advanced warfare. It was like a year before Please. the game came out. Everything was in super early alpha state, but I could still tell it was a COD game. I could So by the looks of it, Dr. Disrespect did love the leaks though. You, you feel I'm saying he does he does he likes the leaks I, I guess he disrespected sledgehammer games as well at that time still so. tell that it was like it looked like cod for next gen consoles it was something that was being worked on at activision so i believe them i talked to the person who sent the email and when i asked them about their source they said it was from dr disrespect who was not uh, influencing at the time he was using his regular name guy beam they said it was from guy beam and okay. they said the doc had sent them all of this sort of to either show off and or get their opinions about the development of the game not only did he send it to them but supposedly as i was told i wasn't there to several other people after all the okay. dust settled from the leak, my understanding from the situation is that the doc had been extremely loose with his DMs, wildly violating NDAs, and was just sending pics and videos to a bunch of people that he considered trustworthy friends, some of whom sent them to me to make a YouTube video. There we go. So boom, I'm gonna... Boom, 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 boom. Man, you cannot trust YouTubers. You cannot trust YouTubers, okay? You just go ahead and tell you me. I've never met Doc in person. We've never had a conversation. We've never played in a game. I don't even think we've sent messages back and forth on Twitter. But I do still have this roundabout experience of him being extremely loose with his DMs and leaking a game that he was actively developing. I never yeah. revealed this information at the time because, first of all, it's bad journalism to reveal your sources. And second of all, he was an OG machinima creator like me. I didn't feel like ruining... Damn, so brother really, really took the concept of covering Dr. Disrespect in depth or covering in depth uh, of Dr. Disrespect like that his career over something relatively minor, especially when it benefited me. Dang, I'm, that word is, mm, gotta be careful about that word in this video. But now, a decade later after the leak, and after it's been revealed that he was inappropriately messaging minors, I just don't care. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put that story out there, and whatever Damn. happens, happens. Now that that's Damn. out of the way, let's get to the issue. Uh, appreciate you subscribing, Ward, Ward Junks. Uh, thank you, appreciate it. Welcome on in, boo-boo. 
issue at hand. In 2017, Dr. Disrespect was using Twitch whispers to meet women and cheat on his wife. This is pretty much public knowledge. He's admitted to it, and I believe his wife even participated in a thematic apology video where she pretended to be an assassin. Then suddenly, he was just straight up banned from Twitch without any explanation from any party, and nobody knew why. Until about a week or so ago, a former Twitch employee claimed that it was because yeah. he was using the whispers feature, or Twitch's equivalent of DMs, to message minors. About and, and the craziest thing here is that Cody is an ex-Twitch guy, right? Keep in mind, Twitch still has not come out, and Twitch still has not officially talked about this story, right? Like, this is, uh, he said, uh, she said, but the reason, the reason is simple, right? The reason why everybody's, like, on his ass right now, the reason why the sponsors dropped him, his own game studio, like, kicked him out, right? Which is absolute insanity, right? Like, the, the, the studio he started, he started Midnight Society, his game studio, right? They actually fired him! Oh shit! Oh, yeah, so you cannot make that up, right? His own studio fired him, which is just insanity. And the reason they did is because Dr. Disrespect came out and uh, he basically uh, admitted to texting a minor and sometimes the conversation would lean inappropriately. These are the words of Dr. Disrespect. This is not my opinion. And right now, a lot of people are defending him still, and a lot of people are calling him a PDF file. I wanna know where you guys at with it. Uh, and some of you, I'm seeing that as well. Some of you are like in the middle. Some of you are saying that, yeah, you, you cannot defend Dr. Disrespect with this one, but what do you mean by inappropriate? Define inappropriate. Why we didn't hear about this story earlier all the way, because of we're hearing that this happened all the way back in 2017, why did he get banned in 2020 why didn't he get banned in 2017 so people are having a lot of questions right now and uh, the simple answer is that we just we just don't know much of the story other than uh, these rumors or these allegations from from Cody and the ex twitch employees and also also dr. disrespect confirming and admitting to some of the allegations not all of them but some of the allegations and of course uh, people are also saying that oh well of course dr disrespect is not gonna admit to everything which is also a very good point it's the uh, it's a uh, it's one of those things guys i'm i'm just trying to be unbiased on the situation here trying to cover both sides here but it's also true right like if a thief is caught stealing he's not gonna admit to stealing everything right he's the first answer he's gonna give is that hey i didn't do it i didn't do it and dr disrespect also did say no wrongdoing was found no wrongdoing no wrongdoing and then we heard from uh, apparently robert balling his uh, business partner from his game studio and midnight society the studio that he founded which fired him right now they put out their statement and Robert Bolling said that after seeing the facts, they cannot work with him, right? Uh, they fired him and after that, that's when Dr. Disrespect came out, admitted to texting a minor and sometimes the conversation would lean inappropriately. And after that, it's like everybody cancel him, NBA drops him, right? NFL drops him, the sponsors drops him, he's fired from his studio, and nobody wanna do anything with it. We even got Tim the Tatman responding, Nick Merckx responding, and they're not saying much, and I mean, it makes sense though. A lot of you are saying snakes, uh, some of you are saying that, well, what do you expect them to say? They're public figures as well. So they're just saying the situation is sad, which is sad, which is true, And but but they're not saying much more than that. And, and now we got Drifter making in that Dr. Disrespect video here, so. About half of the gaming community rallied to his defense immediately before he came out on Twitter and confessed to doing exactly what he was accused of just a few days later. Then another industry source would come out and say the doc knew that the woman he was messaging was a minor and continued anyway. Damn. And then another Twitch streamer came out and. Uh, keep in mind, okay, uh, I, I wish uh, this is true that Doctor Disrespect didn't know about. Uh, he was texting a minor at the time but what we're learning is that uh, that's a rumor it's uh, coming from the sa same allegations right and half of them i guess are confirmed to be true some of you would say all of them are true which is fine i, I mean everybody has the right to having their own opinions so uh, whatever your opinion is i cannot change that i'm not looking to change your opinion i'm just looking to present the the facts and uh, if the facts are in the the, the word or in the shape of rumors i'll just tell you these are rumors and apparently they are saying Dr. Disrespect knew that uh, when I say they, I mean like the ex-Twitch employees, the Twitch guys, right? They're saying Dr. Disrespect knew at the time he was messaging a minor, he knew it was a minor. 
but doctor never admitted to it so just uh trying to keep it real with you guys uh, make of that what you will guys shared a video of her dms with the doc uh this was a trans twitch streamer and apparently he was dming her during the same time window as the supposed dms with minor so that kind yeah. of tracks these are two different situations some people think that th this is what doctor was uh trying to get uh uh, uh, uh dr diddles uh people are calling him dr diddles uh, uh hashtag no diddy this and that right like yeah people are doing that and people are beefing with this one here and people are like bro like you could have you're rich you have a beautiful wife, you have a beautiful career. Why? Why destroy? Por qué? Por, por qué? Tranquilo la. Tranquilo la. So, uh, yeah, a lot of people are saying that. And a lot of people are getting confused with this. People are assuming that this was a was the minor, which is not true. So, Dr. Disrespect, what we know publicly is this, okay? That Dr. cheated on his wife, okay, with somebody else. And Dr. was trying to get coochie from this as well, this person as well. And then what we're also hearing that is that he was also texting a minor. So three different cases, but uh, th that this is like public knowledge. Was it was it more than that? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. He was DMing her during the same time window as the supposed DMs with minors. So that kind of tracks. And I guess this tweet about supporting Nick Merckx and his leave them kids alone has not aged very well. Nick Merckx is in his own entirely different drama right now that we just don't have time to get into. But at least N Nick Merckx saying leave the kids alone. That story is different. That like you you can not uh say that nick Merix uh cannot n now preach not uh leave the kids alone because doctor uh, has been caught whatever your opinion is whether he's caught or not caught whether he's a, a pdf file or, or or innocent or you know what in the middle that's your opinion that's your opinion right but nick Merck's situation that's different because he's uh, talking more so about indoctrinating uh, kids being indoctrinated at school and, and by the uh at the the woke mafia right and when they are at the age of like what eight 12 years old they're indoctrinated to change their their body parts and whatnot like uh, how you would you know perhaps one day like uh, today you have rtx 3080 and tomorrow you want to get rtx 3090 so you're like okay let me go ahead and buy a new graphics card yeah. it's not simple as buying a new graphics card you're talking about changing your body parts so he's against that absolutely that's so, super rational i mean let the kids be kids leave the kids alone uh, absolutely so that story is different and this doctor disrespect story is completely different but in this one leave the kids alone also does apply i mean just leave the kids alone doctor leave everybody alone just focus on your career focus on your wife focus on your family simple as that right simple as that he disavowed the doc so good on him for that on the subject of tweets that did not age well, here's another one of the doc projecting his qualms about Call of Duty microtransactions and promoting drugs and wild things like that while he was doing worse. Then, various industry sources claimed that while the messages were inappropriate, that Doc had committed no crimes, as in no action was taken upon said DMs. However, some people claimed that they were still bad enough to had to have been legally mandated to be reported to various authorities, or at least not legally mandated as per Twitch policy. Subsequently, Doc lost literally all of his sponsors. Turtle Beach left, YouTube took members away, I think he cut ties with the 49ers, his game studio dropped him, and I think that was a very appropriate uh, response. But I want to move back in time a little bit away from the now, now that it's out. Now let's talk about the then, and the Twitch at the time. In 2017, Dr. Yeah. Disrespect was one of Twitch's biggest streamers, highest earners. He was almost the face of the company or the face of the brand, so it would have been extremely bad for them if this story leaked. So Twitch decided to bury it under NDAs, which is actually the main point of this video and what I think is just the tip of a really big iceberg of conspiracy. Uh -oh. For those of you that don't know, an NDA stands for Non-Disclosure Agreement. These are standard across a lot of industries and are designed to protect proprietary information, corporate secrets, early previews of various media projects, and CEOs, politicians, or celebrities can use them to to bury damaging stories about themselves or other people. Basically, yeah, it prevents crazy, you from man. sharing knowledge or speaking freely about a certain topic after you've signed the NDA. These usually come with some sort of money and payout to sort of guarantee cooperation. Importantly, an NDA cannot prevent you from disclosing a crime or being a witness in court. So if the doc hmm. had committed a crime, the NDA would not have been applicable any longer. However, that Dang. third use that yeah. we mentioned about burying a damaging story is exactly what I think happened here. I think it would have been very damaging to Twitch's brand to confess that one of their top streamers was not just using whispers for infidelity, but also setting themselves up for one of the most heinous crimes that a person can commit. Twitch yeah. also couldn't just come out and put Doc on blast to save their own face because of how they discovered the problem to begin with, which is they were supposedly able to read your private whispers, which mm. the community at least thinks that they're private. This would have been a very bad look for Twitch. It would have made a lot of users feel very uncomfortable about the feature and the platform. And as an important legal heads up, the DMs that you send people on Bird app or Instagram or yeah. Twitch or whatever are not often private. not covered under any sort of standard privacy law. And are Yeah, I mean, like, as soon as you get a mobile phone, bro, you're, say bye to your privacy, bro. It 
don't even matter at that point. A, a lot of people send messages. They, they send their BBCs, uh, BWCs, LBCs, LWC pics, uh, thinking that it is safe. I am just sending to my significant other. And your significant other would send you like Bob's Vagana pics as well. Guys, don't do that. Don't do that. Somebody else is probably looking at them and jerking off though. You feel what I'm saying? And it, it can leak out too. So why are you sending that, bruh? Like, don't do not do that. Don't do that. No. And, and si simply, oh my bad. Simply put, you want to control your dragon, guys. Control your dragons. Bruh. Stay focused. Don't chase the pom pom. Your D, your schlong can lead you to dangerous places. We're seriously seeing what's happening with Dr. This is don't let your dogs out, man. And definitely don't let your BBC out as well are usually subject to whatever the company wants to do with them. This is just something that's factual and true, but not a lot of people are aware of. Now, maybe not a lot of people think about it, and seeing Dr. Disrespect get outed for his supposedly private DMs would be a big slap in the face and make people feel very bad about the product. So Twitch did what every big corporation does, and that's protect their money above all else, and they chose to protect their money with an NDA. With an NDA in place, they didn't have to outdock as a predator, they didn't have to embarrass themselves, and they didn't have to confess to being able to see everybody's whispers. He was banned from their platform and was just sort of no longer their problem. And they gave him the boot and they're yeah. like, we're done, that's it. You know, <laughs> our hands are clean on this one. Like, yeah, like, I man, we be good, man. We clean, we didn't do it. He did it, he did it, look, he did it, he did it, right? But now, Twitch, now, I feel like that they are being considered equally, if not equally, but more worse than Doc, because they hid the truth, and still, so far, they're not talking about it publicly either. This story is uh, darker than that of uh, whether aliens were at Area 51 or not. And guys, on the second channel, we covered just that type of content, man. UFOs, conspiracies all day, every day, okay? So definitely like and subscribe there as well. But this story is big, man. Like, uh, Twitch is equally to be blamed on this one. Because, yeah, they apparently kept this one shut because right now think about this for a second right regardless whether you're defending doc or not just think about for uh, this way for a second if this and this happened in 2017 like we're hearing if all of this came out back in 2017 we probably would have seen more information on it we probably would have seen chat logs maybe we're still gonna see but doesn't look like it at this point but maybe at that point we're gonna see chat logs and we would have probably heard more from the other side as well right and, and the story would have been fresh so there would be more information on it therefore it would be easier to see whether doc is a hundred percent guilty for people or a hundred percent innocent for a hundred percent innocent for people right because uh r right now it's like he said she said the biggest thing in this one is doc admitting it and that's that's like the last nail on the coffin people are defending dr disrespect right now but dr disrespect is not even defending himself you feel what i'm saying because normally uh he i guess in a way tried to but ultimately like uh i i guess like everybody started dropping him left and right so he's he had to come out and make a public uh, apology and public statement and he just uh admitted to texting a minor inappropriately his words not mine the allegations are he was sexting, maybe Dr. Disrespect really talked inappropriately that wasn't sexual, or maybe he's trying to just lower the, 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 the blow, right? And he's just trying to put his best foot forward. Both of these uh, scenarios are equally possible. So, uh, yeah, uh, but if this was to come out all the way back in 2017, it would have been a lot better a lot better and i don't think twitch would be considered like a bad guy back then right now they surely are because people would view it uh yes yeah, surely some people would be like oh crap this crap was going on on your platform come on man like what the hell i guess the only thing they didn't want it in this one was uh the public to know they were reading your whispers but i mean i wasn't even surprised i wasn't even shocked to find out that they, they were reading uh everybody whispers bro because i uh, like don't uh, at hell, right like as soon as you have a smartphone and as soon as you start like texting people they can i mean nothing is private though i don't know why people thought it would be private like pontius pilot the issue is they or why i don't know why they thought why twitch thought that people would think it would stay private or private right he became everybody else's problem and they did nothing to curb the behavior and that's why i genuinely believe that a new type of legal exception should be carved out for ndas for exactly this kind of scenario 
because as of right now, what Twitch did is perfectly legal. Using NDAs to protect predators and other terrible people is even something the Catholic Church does on occasion to protect their predator priests, which is just an issue that I don't have time to get into today. And I think in this scenario, Twitch is the bad guy because they just punted their problem off to somebody else instead of dealing with it. They didn't really care that Doc was possibly going to continue preying on minors or committing infidelity or any other sort of bad things via whis whispers. They just didn't want the bad press for it. They didn't care what happened, just don't blame it on me, which kind of begs the question, and yeah. I'll take my headphones off for this one, and I'll put my- Oh, it's getting real, man. It's getting real. He about to go in-depth Dr. Disrespect style right now. My conspiracy hat on, because we're going into pure conjecture town here. How many streamers have done similar things, but Twitch covered it up to protect their brand? I've seen a number of unverified reports from supposed former employees saying that it happened a lot, and mm. it happened with a number of very popular creators, some that would surprise you, and Twitch every- Yeah, I heard that too. This was, but, but it's, again, rumors, right? Uh, but if this is really true, that stuff needs to come- That stuff needs to come out as well, bro! That stuff needs to come out as well, man! That stuff really needs to come out as well. It's, uh... It's unjust. It's it's unjust. Like the video if you absolutely agree that uh, all that information needs to come out. Twitch needs to put out an official statement on this as well. Every single time acted in the interest of their money to protect their brand. It seems like we could field a whole football team full of Twitch streamers that are predators, and I'm afraid that it's going to be like the Minecraft YouTuber problem all over again. So, and I'm, I'm going to dog on Twitch pretty hard for this one, but I want to make it clear that I don't think that Twitch's behavior is particularly unique, at least not in American corporate culture. This is okay. a very standard approach to this type of problem that most corporations will choose most of the time. If it had happened at Dang. YouTube, if it had Dang. happened at... Well, Kick doesn't care. They'll just, Kick will just let you stream anything. But any other major platform, TikTok, whatever, they all would have done about the same thing. But I do believe this makes Twitch the bad guy, because they know who tried to use their platform to prey on minors, but won't but reveal that information it. yeah. because it's bad for their brand. They but chose they protecting their brand over protecting children, which means somebody chose protecting their money over protecting the innocent, which I believe is like the definition of evil, at least in absolutely. my mind. Yeah, and I, I agree with you on this one, 100%, absolutely. And I don't know how deep the Twitch Predator Iceberg goes or specifically who the bad guys are, but I do genuinely hope that someday some employee somewhere grows a conscience and just YOLO leaks all of this. I've handled yeah. a lot of NDAs. There's been a lot of things I wanted to leak, a lot of things I wanted to talk about that I couldn't for various reasons, but none of them involve protection protecting innocent children, teenagers, middle schoolers, all the kiddos on Twitch. Somebody needs to grow a pair and- Yeah, there are certain battles that are worth fighting and there are certain battles- Yeah, the quote is like, there are certain battles that are not worth fighting, right? But no, in this case, no, I agree. I agree, like, uh, and this falls under a criminal activity as well, so I, I think you would be fine if you would break it. Of course, I'm not a lawyer, so you gotta consult with a lawyer. Uh, but, but, but yeah, I agree on this one. Actually leak this information, because exposing the predators on the platform is by far the best way to prevent it from happening again. Lastly, at the end of this video, I wanted to talk about how absolutely disgusted I am with Dr. Disrespect's army of simps that seem to be okay with this. During the first couple of days, there was of course the initial crowd of this is just an accusation without evidence, which at the time was true, and that was mostly composed of fans that were experiencing some sort of cognitive dissonance, not wanting to admit yeah. that they'd enjoyed yeah, the content yeah. of a predator. Yeah, that, that was fair, that was fair, like all of us were saying we, we need evidence, we need evidence. The only people that believed it were just people that wanted, that, that hated Dr. Disrespect to begin with. I I mean, you can be a hater or, or a fan, it's fine, but, but like, uh, what we're talking about these accusations and allegations, it's bigger. It's It would be inhumane to label somebody as that if they are not, right? You feel what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, generally speaking, everybody was like, yeah, bro, okay, so this, these claims, these accusations are insane. Uh, we, need the, we, need the, we need the evidence, which is totally rational, but after that, Doc has admitted to... Uh, saying that he texted minor, uh, a minor, individual minor, inappropriately. So a lot of people are now like, okay, I, I don't trust Doc no more. And some of you are saying that, well, define inappropriate, right? Like, I, I want to see the chat logs before I judge him. Yeah, and, and surely there are a lot of people coping with it as well. And a lot of people don't want to believe that. Or they think he did it, but they still don't care. So there's... Uh, yeah, everybody's like all over the place. Everybody got their set of opinions. And you cannot change anyone's opinion. And I'm not looking to do that. Because nothing will change your opinion. Unless, unless something big comes out, right? And, and it's either 100% either confirms, 110% confirms Doc is innocent or a PDF file. Nothing will change really, though. 
Then after Doc confessed to his unseemly actions, there was an outrageous amount of people still trying to explain and defend his actions as if there is any defense to them whatsoever. This yeah. army of pathetic Predator supporters went through all of the classic arguments, such as claiming if no crime was committed, there was no problem. Or saying that- it, it, Yeah, uh, guys, listen here. Not trying to uh, attack Doc or anything like that. I quite, uh, I, I don't watch him that much. I said it before, but I did enjoy whenever I would watch his streams and I liked his character and seriously, like, I don't want to see anything like that, right, to ha happen. Like, this situation is just completely effed. Uh, and it happens a lot in the world that we, you and I share, right? Uh, yeah, a lot of there are a lot of predators. I'm not saying Doc is a predator, or, or uh, he. Uh, I'm not saying that, but I'm saying, like, this situation, I, I don't want to see anything like that, though. So I really want the outcome being good, though. I really hope the outcome is good. Right now, the chances are very low, but I still hope for a good outcome, right? But it's uh, it's the same thing, EDP, right? Which uh, universally, I, I guess all of us uh, can agree that he's a predator because he really went outside of his way to meet with a minor, right? Absolutely, the cupcake situation, crazy on God, okay? So yeah, yeah, yeah. So that situation, absolutely, I guess universally everybody would agree with it. But here's the thing, though, even he was not charged criminally. Even he was not, because you see, the, the evidence was not substantial for the law enforcement to actually interfere or intercept in this uh, case. So, yeah, yeah, so there are certain things that might not be criminal, but it does not mean that they're okay. Now, of course, the other side here is that people are saying that I, I, I want to see the chat logs. I, I want to know if the minor was a girl or a boy. Was it a 17-year-old? Was it was it like a 12-year-old? Oh, 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 was Dr. Disrespect talking in a, sh a sexual manner? Or was he just trying to bully? None of this is all right. But of course, speaking with a minor in a bullying way that's a lot different than speaking with them in like a, a sexual way right so these are two different scenarios and one is more worse than the other so well, yeah a lot of people are also talking about that which i i i understand but again you guys gotta also understand that doc is uh he's not necessarily defending himself right now he just dropped that statement and he peaced out though if he was never convicted of a crime, then he's still legally in the clear and innocent, perhaps claiming that he was already punished enough by being banned from Twitch. Initially, a lot of people said maybe he didn't know that she was a minor, which turns out not to be true. Then, Yeah, that's what Twitch is now saying, or the ex-Twitch employees are saying that he knew at the time, which uh, if you want to believe that, you can. If you don't want to believe that, I guess you don't believe that. But I, I just want to keep it 100% real with you guys. That's uh, coming from ex-Twitch employees uh, right now. So. There was a just absolutely revolting amount of people that were victim-blaming, saying, that the minor came on to him and it's partly her fault too for tempting him which is like when somebody says this to you this is a telltale sign that you are talking to a terrible person with no moral compass whatsoever and then the worst yeah like even for example right like if tomorrow a minor comes at you and start talking like that bro you don't want to talk like that back just don't even engage don't even engage because you are uh much older and you're much uh, i would like to believe you're much wiser because the minor, if that was an attempt to get you, and you got got, that you are to be blamed, not her. You, you feel what I'm saying? Because this is how, this is like the, the catch 101, right? This is how they tried to get EDP into the system. Uh, when I say system, I mean they, they were trying to catch predators, and yeah, they found out that EDP was a predator. So they went after him that way, and they, they caught him. So this is how it works. So if some miner is coming at you, you, you don't wanna you don't wanna engage. Simple as that. Simple as that. Worst of the worst. The human equivalent of your grandfather's toenail fungus crawling out of the dead corpse of a bird that used to be Twitter to claim that it's normal for adults to be attracted to minors or teens. Basically yeah. just an army of PDF file apologists just trying to explain that, saying it's normal. And I don't think this is just a bunch of creepy people that would like to commit crimes on their own, but society won't let them. I don't know how many of these people were just painfully desperate to try to find a way to justify watching a predator for that long, and how many of them genuinely believed the horse manure that was coming out of their mouths on social media, but I guess it had to be some mix of both. I think most of the gaming community actually took this pretty well and responded appropriately, not watching the streams, very negative comments, businesses dropping doc, but some not insignificant chunk of the population must have had a few magnets dropped on their moral compass. Because if you have to explain to somebody why a 35-year-old man shouldn't be dating somebody in high school, then that person's parents need to be sent to jail for raising them so poorly. They created a detriment to all of society. Tranquilo, papi chulo. Tranquilo, tranquilo. Nah, but I, I absolutely hear him, right? 
a, a lot of people are also saying that, well, the age of consent uh, in my country is 15, it's 16, it's 17, it's 18, and even in the US, I believe, uh, in a lot of states, it's 16. Here's the thing, though. A lot of people are saying that it was a 17-year-old. That part, we don't know. 100%, we don't know. It can be 17, a person that was 17-year-old. Uh, and if it was 17 year old and let's just say uh, they were chatting from a state where this uh, the age of consent met 16 years old or 17 and it was fine in a way right uh, then it, it falls under the creeper behavior it's still not okay but I guess legally well it would be considered all right and I've seen a lot of people give this example that hey there are this uh, you know Leonardo DiCaprio you know always hanging out with 20 years old this and that yeah 20 years old it's not the same as a minor but but i get it though like he's uh, what like 50 hanging out with 20 20 year olds it, it's definitely creepy it's creeper behavior uh yeah it, it's not like morally okay but 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 of course then there's like a different term for it you cannot call him a pdf file in this case right if this is to be true it, it's still it's still not a good situation to be P, uh, to be uh, right now absolutely and, and of course like he cheated on his wife I, I don't want to judge him on that one because it's between him and his wife and the person he cheated with and it's between God and him right so yeah I'm not judging him on that but I guess like him admitting that and now this happening and that 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 uh, transformer person that came out showed leaked the, the the DMs whether it's true or fake that I'm not like talking about that it, I'm, my point here is that his repetition is really really tainted and it's like the boy who screamed, uh, who yelled wolf, right? So we're in this phase right now. Whatever he says, people are not necessarily gonna believe him. He has broke the the trust uh, with a lot of uh, a lot of people right now. And I'm sure that even in this video, there will still be an army of Dr. Disrespect simps flooding in, trying to explain why they think his behavior is acceptable. I don't think it's acceptable at all. I don't think companies should legally be allowed to cover this up with NDAs. And I genuinely, if I could lobby Congress right now in this emotional state that I'm in, I would lobby them to pass a law to carve out and like a broad exception to bypass NDAs entirely when it comes to the safety of minors or predators like Dr. Uh, oh, on this one, I agree. Like the video if you agree on this one. Absolutely, absolutely. This part, W, yeah. Correct. And I think that anybody, for any reason, who chooses money, over the safety of children is an objectively horrible person that even Art the Clown would be disgusted with. Guys, that is- a Absolutely, absolutely. I wanna know your take uh, on this situation, absolutely. I'm not sure if you guys got to see the Tim the Tatman response to this entire situation. Check out this video on the screen. If you already seen it, then check out the video on the left.